Hey, today we have a brand new update for the DJI Pocket 3, and this one is actually a really, really good one. We now have a 40 mil equivalent kind of lens or zoom feature on the Pocket 3. It's a lossless zoom. So unlike the two times digital zoom, which wasn't really that good, this should be very good because it's cropping into the sensor rather than the video itself. Uh, the secondly, we have a new breathing compensation feature, which should uh, get rid of some of that focus hunting that we've seen in the past. So I'm gonna go over to the pier here in St. Ives and test it out. So I'm just gonna talk over the test footage. I recorded all shots first in the normal 4K, so you can see how it looks. And then I went to the two times digital zoom. This is the zoom that you currently have on the Pocket 3. Next, we jump to the new 40 millimeter med tele lens and this is how it looks so it's cropping into the sensor and what's really good is you can use the mid tele and the digital to get this image so it doesn't look amazing but it looks good if you need that kind of reach this is what it looks like before this is the standard lens on the pocket 3 and now we are going to do some side by sides and just look at the digital here on the left versus the new 40 mil on the right. I think there's a big difference. Let's do some more tests with some text in the shop. So I came over to Yala and this is the normal 4K coming out of the camera. We're gonna zoom in with the digital zoom and you can see the text is looking a little bit mushy. But when we switch to the new 40 millimeter mid tele, this actually looks very crisp and I think I would actually use this. So let's go in with the Digital Plus Med Tele and I think, you know, again, it's a bit mushy. I probably wouldn't use this. Side by side, look at this. The left is very mushy looking, the right is very sharp. I'm gonna crop in here 200% and you can really start to see the difference here. Okay, so now just a quick wide shot of St. Ives with the standard Pocket 3 lens, looking lovely as ever. Now let's use the two times digital, which I think always looks pretty poor in my opinion. I hardly ever use the digital zoom. I almost never use it. Next, let's use the new 40 mil. I think this looks really good. It's so night and day between the two times digital and this, what do you think of this? It's looking very, very crisp in my opinion. And again, let's use the 40 mil mid tele and the digital zoom. So you really get that extra reach if you do want to use that. And now for some side by sides, we've got the digital on the left and the new 40 mil on the right. You can see the sharpness is just, again, I've said it before, it's night and day. Look at this with a 400% crop. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna test out is the new focus breathing compensation. Now, focus breathing is when you have something in front of you like this and it focuses on it, and then you pull back to the subject or uh, foreground and a background subject. You might see a bit of focus breathing. So I thought I'd uh, test that out. Let's test that out. This is with it off. Sometimes it can look a little bit jerky or it can take a few seconds to hold focus. Now let's try it on. Okay, now this is on. Does that look any smoother? Let's try again. Now let's try it with uh, some subjects here. This is with uh, breathing compensation off, so I'm gonna focus on the buildings in the background there. And then we're gonna focus on the lamppost. Just look at the uh, steps of the focus. Background. And then let's come back to the lamppost. Now let's try it with breathing compensation turned on. Okay, so now we're on. Let's uh, touch the background. Now let's switch to the lamppost. Now to the background. And back to the lamppost. Do you notice any difference there? Let's try it on some flowers. Breathing conversation is off. Uh, we're now focusing on these flowers down here. Now let's focus on the church in the background. This is with breathing compensation off. Let's go back to the flowers. And now let's go back to the art church building in the background. Now let's switch over. Breathing compensation is now on. Let's focus in the background. 
Now let's focus on the flowers. Now let's focus on the background. And now let's focus back on the flowers. So there are some big downsides of using these modes, but before we jump into that, let me tell you about the Editor's Keys DJI Pocket 3 LUTs. If you want to massively improve your Pocket 3 footage, whether you're using the normal mode or the D-Log M mode that I use, then these are the LUTs to use. They can really transform your footage from looking kind of normal, maybe phone looking, to much more cinematic. Just look at the shots that we've gotten with the Pocket 3 and then we've got the name of the LUTs underneath in the bottom left corner. Check these out. How good do these look? If you want to grab these, I'll put a link in the description below to the Editor's Keys website where you can get these directly from us at Editor's Keys. I'll let these play through just before we talk about some of the downsides of using the new firmware update. But check out these LUTs. So now let's talk about the downsides of using these new features and there are a couple of big ones. The first one is that the 40mm, the lossless zoom, you can only use in the normal picture profile. You can't actually use it in D-Log M or HLG, HLG, which is a bit of a shame because I film all of my stuff in D-Log M. So that's really, really frustrating because I think the lossless zoom looks really, really good. I would actually use that quite a lot but I never film in the normal picture profile because I really like to color grade and choose what my image looks like. Uh, the second thing, not so much of a big deal, it's that with the um, breathing compensation on, you do, have, you do have a small crop. So let me try and show you that now. Okay, so this is with breathing compensation off. Just look at the planter to the left of the screen. Look how much space there is between the side of the frame and that planter. And now I'm going to turn breathing compensation on. And now we have breathing compensation on. You can see it's only a tiny crop, maybe 5%, but you can see it does crop in a little bit to your image. Again, personally, I think if I was vlogging, I might have this off, but if I'm trying to do more objects, uh, more scenery, I may turn this on and I can deal with the crop. It's not a big, big deal. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, let me know in the comments section below, or if you've got any questions or comments about this new firmware update, let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.